While not as rampant as fake Moldavite on the market, fake Libyan desert glass is still a concern that customers should be aware of. This video will cover genuine specimens first, so that you can develop an eye for real material and see how the scam material stands out. Sharing this video will inform other potential buyers and keep scammers from lining their pockets, so please spread the word. Libyan desert glass occurs near the Egypt-Libya border in the Great Sand Sea, and formed approximately 29 million years ago. It is a variety of tektite, meaning it is glass formed from a meteorite impact. Tektites usually solidify in the air, as molten material from the impact is launched upward and cools before landing. Libyan desert glass consists mostly of lachatelierite, a high-temperature form of quartz that occurs in tektites, as well as fulgurites. There is still more to learn about Libyan desert glass, as scientists have yet to find an impact crater that can be tied to this tektite's formation. Libyan desert glass has been valued as a gemstone in the past, dating back to the ancient Egyptians. One very notable example is this amulet that was found in King Tutankhamun's tomb. The yellowish center stone is a scarab carved from Libyan desert glass. The natural luster of Libyan desert glass can vary a bit from piece to piece. Stones that were exposed at the surface often have a desert varnish on them. This waxy look is caused by blowing sand abrading the surface of the stone. Specimens that were partially buried may still have some dirt and caliche on them, as well as a duller luster on the buried portion. Color can vary and includes yellow, tan, dark amber, and even a smoky green to brown. Bluish lines are possible but uncommon. When looking at multiple pieces of Libyan desert glass, you'll quickly notice they are all different shapes. If you see a bunch of pieces that look exactly the same, there's a good chance they are fakes that came from a mold. If you are looking at a specimen with a frosted surface, try getting it wet. This will make the surface easy to see through so that you can inspect the inclusions. Air bubbles are often prevalent in authentic specimens. Lines or streams of bubbles are also fairly common to see. White spherical inclusions are cristobalite, a high-temperature form of quartz that can also be found in some volcanic rocks. Here are some examples of polished specimens. These are all stones I cut a while back. They came from rough that was found damaged, with lots of chips and surface fracturing. The rough still had good centers and lots of lapidary potential, so I think polishing was the best option to turn them into something special. Libyan desert glass takes a pretty good polish, and you only see this vitreous luster in polished stones or broken sections with conchoidal fracture. Inclusions and bubbles are really easy to see in these pieces, even when dry. Before we move on to the fakes, I just want to say that most of the real example specimens shown in this video are available in my Etsy shop. If you are in the market for a piece, that's a good way to find an authentic stone and support the channel at the same time. Shares, likes, and views also help more than you might think, so thank you for being here. On to some examples of the fakes. You can see from the title the sellers claiming this is Libyan desert glass. This specimen is definitely too round to be authentic. It definitely looks like it came out of a mold. If you look closely, I mean, they sort of got some of the texture okay, but there's no inclusions. You can't really see any bubbles on the inside. So let's look at their description. The item pictured is always the exact item you will receive. Well, that's unfortunate in this case, since they're scamming people. If you have any question, please feel cactus. Cac please feel cactus. Yeah, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they've got great customer service with what they're selling. <laughs> you, you can see all the hard work that they put into their description here. And you can see the scam did get somebody. It uh, sold for $9.50. So somebody's going to be unhappy if they figure that out. Hopefully they will. On to the next one. And this one is at $6.50 currently, ending in four days. This is from the same seller, and you can see this piece probably came out of either the same or a very similar mold. Again, way too round, and you can't see any inclusions. So, very blatant scam, but people are bidding on it, and that's why I made this video. I want to expose these for what they are so that nobody's bidding on them. In the description, you can see a bunch of metaphysical jargon. This is pretty common with mineral listings in general, whether the specimens are real or fake. The claims usually don't have any sources cited and are not supported by science. It is a sales pitch, and personally I think Libyan desert glass is cool enough on its own without having to make claims about chakras or vibrational energy. It has historical significance, rarity, and lapidary potential. Some metaphysical claims, like manifesting an increase in money, are falsifiable, so if scientists did take this stuff seriously and conduct experiments, it would be possible to either debunk or prove it. 
From what I've seen over a decade in the mineral trade, most metaphysical claims can be attributed to the placebo effect and cold reading techniques like you'd see from a psychic or in a horoscope. You could get the same benefit from positive affirmations without spending any money. Here's another example claiming to be Libyan desert glass, and this one the color is way off. I mean, you, you can get darker uh, colors in Libyan desert glass, but this stuff, I mean, very sloppy craftsmanship even for a scam. They're, they're kind of trying the texture, but th this is just shameful. But it did get a sale, $4.25. In Libyan Desert Glass, there's not as many scams as there are on the Moldavite market, but they're still out there, and I wanted to bring them to everyone's attention because the scammers are ready. If the price point took off on this material like it did with Moldavite a few years back, they're going to be right out there with more scams, and they're going to try to sucker everybody in. Here's another one that sold, $3.62. At least they didn't get fleeced for very much. And, you know, it's a fairly sloppy job, but this one's a little more irregular. It's not totally round, so I wanted to highlight that. And here we have a few of their negative feedbacks uh, from the, the seller that had that previous piece. And you can see that people are catching on to this being glass, and they are reviewing it negatively. So, again, if you're on eBay or Etsy or one of those sites that allows you to look at feedback, look at the negatives and see what other people are saying, because if somebody caught the scam... Uh, from buying it, they may be able to save you some time. This is actually from the same seller, and this piece, it's a little harder to tell if it's real or fake. It's an irregularly shaped piece. It looks like there might be some inclusions around there. Um, you know, there's little specks of dirt and stuff. There's a little bit of fracturing. Um, you know, the conchoidal fracture doesn't really tell you much because the fakes are glass, and Libyan desert glass is a type of glass. There's a little more conchoidal fracture there. If you're not sure about a piece like this, but you see that the seller also has scam material available, it could just be a really good fake. Some of them are better than others, and if somebody's willing to scam other people for money, that is somebody that you should not do business with ever. So you'll never see the scam material on my site. Uh, there's lots of other sellers that are legit as well, so let's get the scammers forced out. Let's just take our dollar elsewhere and vote with it. And here's a really sloppy one that's obviously the wrong color. I just wanted to point out that, like the fake Moldavite, they have fake Libyan desert glass that's totally in the wrong color. Those ones stand out like a sore thumb. Moving over to Etsy, I found a seller that actually has fake Moldavite and fake Libyan desert glass together in one bracelet. They're asking $65 for this, and it's 30% off. Wow, what a... what a stellar deal. <laughs> and the, the fake Moldavite... Uh, like I covered in my Moldavite video, you can see there's no inclusions there at all. Um, very obviously glass. And the Libyan desert glass pieces, they're textured and they're a little bit different from piece to piece, but you can see also no inclusions. And they're way too consistent. You're not going to see bracelets like this out of the legitimate material. And if you do see a Libyan desert glass bead, or a, a Libyan desert glass bracelet, they're probably going to be beads that are polished and drilled. I have seen some examples of those that are real, and you see all the inclusions uh, there. And again, if you look at the description of this uh, scam bracelet, it has a whole bunch of info on Libyan desert glass, both, you know, there's a little bit about the history and a bunch of metaphysical jargon, and then they go on about the Moldavite as well. And somebody can type up a really nice description, but if they're, if they're selling scam material, it's going to be showing up in those photos. Here's another example of the scam material. Now this one, they're asking $159 per bracelet. And these are just, they're very consistent in the shape. They're just like the other scam beads that we've seen, where they have that rough textured surface, but you don't see the inclusions. You can probably spot a few that have the same surface pattern over and over with how many beads are here. These obviously came out of a mold, and there's not much in their description aside from saying that it's natural. So yeah, hopefully people aren't buying this. Okay, so I did find that they have a few lower reviews. These are pieces that are supposed to be ancient, apparently. So fake Libyan desert glass isn't their only scam material. I'm going to check their page and see what else comes up. And voila, we have all of this fake Moldavite. Fake Moldavite beads, like I just covered. I don't want to get too into those since I covered them in depth in the other video, but... Uh, 
occasionally they'll use like a, a real moldavite as their front cover and then they'll have fakes that are like in those wire wraps that are actually for sale so they'll have a mix of real and fake right in their listing and then of course when you buy them you end up with the fakes so again if somebody has obvious scam material obvious scam material uh don't buy anything at all from their shop it's a show of their character and lastly, I wanted to do uh, one from Timu this time, not just cover Etsy and eBay. This one they're calling Libyan Amber Meteorite, so they didn't even get the name Libyan Desert Glass correct. But this is another obvious scam. All the beads are the same size. They didn't do as good of a job on the texturing. And, uh, oh, here's a, a nice little video that we can watch. And you can see that that's very blatant scam material. They're trying to mimic that original texture, but they're all the same round shape. You're not going to see that in nature. Oh, 90% off, marked down from 89.25. Yeah, still not a good deal. Wouldn't pay a dollar for it. Anyways, that's about all I have to cover for today. As always, thanks for watching, and please give the video a share if you found it helpful. Have a nice day.